So you got this router. It's a Nate Gear Gateway RT314. And you try to access the firmware. You forgot the password. So what do you do? You go online and they, they it pretty much tells you to use hyper terminal. And you run hyper terminal. You got that far. Say say you got that far. Well, let's go for the ones that didn't get that far. And go ahead and go to your hyper terminal that you downloaded for Windows 7 cuz you know nobody has Windows XP anymore or do you I don't know so uh, here you went to this and this as far as you got you don't know what to do with this go ahead and just type anything on top don't worry about the icons just get click OK and then you don't know what you don't know what this is so you would click OK but if you don't know what this is is the communication port uh, first you would need to buy this device before you start dabbing into it this is the DB9 to USB converter and you can find that at eBay uh, they come from China you can get one maybe closer uh, it's up to you where you buy it but you're gonna need this for sure and well to those that got this far already know unless you have an old machine and then you go to the Netgear firmware you go ahead and download their firmware I'll provide this this uh, this site uh, this this web page on the bottom video of the description now uh, you go ahead and connect your DB9. That's that end right there. That that end right there to your to your router. To the back of the manager port, and then the USB port to your computer, of course. And you, they told you to download. What was it? It was. What was it? Ah, hyper terminal. So you want to get ahead and ran hyper terminal again. Oh wait. Uh, already got this up right and the communications port uh, you don't know if that's the correct one if there's more open so just go ahead and click my computer properties um, manager setting and the ports if you have more than one here go ahead and disconnect your uh, note down how many ports you have and what they are and then disconnect the DB9 to USB and the one that leaves and comes back when you reconnect it then that's your communication port you will have to uh, Windows usually is pretty good and it installs the drivers for you but if it doesn't make sure you contact the person who sold you that DB9 to USB uh, to ask them about the drivers or the manufacturer or however that works once you know the COM port if you have more than one uh, you can go ahead and close that just note down which COM port you're using and close that so mine was six so hit OK and uh, Hit bring it down to 9600, uh, 8, none, 1, and hardware. Uh, that's that's how it should look like for you. Just hit apply, hit OK, and at this point you are connected. But if you want to make sure that you are connected, go ahead and unplug, physically unplug your router from the back where it says 12 volts DC or 12V DC and uh, wait for 5 seconds. So 1 alligator, 2 alligator, 3 alligator, that's fine enough. Reconnect it and you should see this. Now you got this far. Some of you got this far. And we'll wait for a little bit. And you get this and you try to press a key. And nothing. You wait, you wait, and it's supposed to go into debug mode. But it's not going into debug mode. You press enter right here, you get stuck at this spot. And you press enter. You can hear me clicking enter and it's nothing's gonna happen. So Go ahead and and disconnect. Do you want to show you want to disconnect? Yes. Do you want to save it? Click no. Uh, and go ahead and down your download yourself um, extra extra putty. And I'll provide the website links for extra putty. Okay. Right here. So it's extraputty.com. Go ahead and click on the downloads and download the top one right there. So once you got it download, install it. And once you got it installed, go ahead and open it up. So let me show you where I'm opening it up to. Go to programs. And it should be like extra putty. And then you should see extra putty. Don't worry about the TL or anything like that. It's, what is this one? Extra putty? Oh, I think I moved mine since I made mine 
a shortcut. So it should be like this. You should see this one. And hold on, I don't think you guys are seeing it. So once you go, it should it should look like this. It's just an extra putty when you go to uh, old programs and when you pull up, it should be in there. But I think I, since I made it into a shortcut, I took it out of there. So go ahead and open it up. Don't let this thing scare you. It only looks intimidating. A lot of interesting keys. Uh, click serial. Now remember the COM port. Mine was six. Yours might be something else. I hope you took note of it. If not, you're gonna have to go back into uh, the mic. Uh, right click on my computer and go manage management and then and then what was it again I don't know well you guys can look back at the video just make sure you guys note it down because if you don't then you're gonna forget at this point uh, let's see and then just go ahead and click open now at this point you are connected uh, once you've downloaded the net, that net gear uh, firmware go ahead and extract it and unplug your router again wait for five seconds usually right now would be fine once you get this, this is the post of the inside of the router. This is what's actually happening. And then once you see that three seconds right there, hit enter or any key to enter into debug mode. And then once you're in debug mode, the hit AT, I mean type AT and hit enter. If you get OK, that means you're OK, to, okay with the connection. Now, if you want to load a new firmware, you put ATUR and then you hit enter, then you see the C. Uh, but I'm not loading a new firmware, I just want to get rid of the passwords that are in there. So uh, hit ATUR and then the number 3. Once you hit that, uh, remember where you downloaded that firmware and extracted it to because you will need it. Go ahead and hit enter. Once you start seeing the C, the little C things going, go ahead and transfer. Hit the uh, X modem a 1K, get send, and then look for your ROM file. This will work for any version of your firmware. So just go ahead and it's, it should say ROM file 0 0.1314 uh, uh, and then hit open. Once it, once, it, once you hit open, it, this thing should load up. Which shouldn't take that very long. So don't get frustrated if uh, if you didn't get this to work because it was they told you to download. Uh, no, they told you to use. Sorry, uh, they told you to use. Uh, uh, was it Hyper Terminal? And it's awesome, but it's it's old and it's not working for me either. Probably because not detecting the keystrokes. That's why it's not working. But don't worry about it. It's not your router. It's that. So once it once it finishes it, it erases the other stuff and it and it and it pretty much installed everything. It pretty much set everything back to firmware. Uh, now, what do you do now? So now you're gonna reboot it. So type in R T G O and that's to reboot. Wow, did I mess up? <laughs> no, A T G O. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, ATGO reboots it, gets it out of, out of debug mode, and puts it right into regular, where you left off and you hit enter and nothing would happen. Now you can hit enter. It asks you for a password. Well, now the password should be should be the original password, which was 1234, or password. Mine was 1234. So once you get that, it you're logged in. Now, now you want to make sure, right? You really want to make sure. So now we're gonna connect the 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 the, the LAN cable. I'm gonna go ahead and connect my LAN cable, and uh, go ahead and disconnect. So as you can see, I am. Uh, hold on. As you can see, I am disconnected. So I'm not connected. As you can see, I am connected to my to my cable. Let's see if everything loads okay here and then multiple networks I see multiple networks I see everything fine here so go ahead and open up a new Internet Explorer then the the IP address is 192.168.0.1 and then that's your Netgear router when you get prompted for this uh, the the user is admin that's that's for this firmware it's admin and then the password is 1234 you can also remember my credentials if you want. Oops, did something wrong. 
Oh. Whoa, I did something completely wrong. Oh yeah, I forgot. You exit out of this. <laughs> That's what I did wrong. Okay, once you exit out of the the putty, go ahead and escape. Yes, close the session. And then now open up your man, yeah, it's just one of those days. Okay, so uh if yeah, it, it goes right in. Uh, uh, hold on, let me log out. Uh no. Uh go ahead and log back in. Should be admin password one two three four. That's why. Don't forget to log out out of the um the extra putty. I was gonna say the cow putty. <laughs> Anyways, once you're completely logged out, you can go ahead and set up. And so it's not really the router. It was, it was, it was the 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 software of Hyper Terminal. So don't fret. Just download cow, um, extra cow. See, look, I'm thinking of cows now. <laughs> I want some milk. <laughs> Anyways, I, I'm I'm really tired right now. But this is the way to fix it it resets everything back to uh, factory and hopefully this worked for you if it did uh, tell me that you got it fixed if it didn't then put it on the bottom we'll, I'll, as a community we'll try to help you I'll try to help you as much as I can I, I am a free service so hopefully everything is fine now that you have everything fine well congratulations you now have your good old Nekia router uh, back end working service this is an old router I like it but it's an, it's it's old and well where are you guys from that's what I you know I always ask and nobody tells me and why are you using this router for I, I use it for gaming and local stuff here it's pretty fast this is a pretty good router uh, but I did buy one that had a password and this is how I reset it I bought another one because uh, I was going to use it for my work, but ended up keeping it. And then, because one of them had the password, I told them I I told I bought it from eBay, and they sent me my money, so I ended up getting it for free. Now this is how you fix it up, and have fun and enjoy it. And this is clear my mind. If you see some of my videos being down, that's because somebody not uh, made a claim that mine was doing something wrong illegal but it wasn't yet they still took it down and I really don't have legal documentations where I can find them nor the legal money it's expensive to do so I just let it go turn down some of my videos into private I'll turn them back in the six months is almost over anyways and and that way YouTube isn't gonna close down my channel because this is for free and I want to keep maintaining like that also, hopefully I don't get busted because I'm showing you how to fix your neck, your router. <laughs> but, but yeah, the, don't expect to see too many videos from me. I am a very lazy person, if you haven't noticed. Uh, I'll try to help out. I am on YouTube quite often. I just don't make very many videos all at once. If I do, then that's just me being on, I guess, on a rampage of video making. But uh, usually I'm just laid back lazy uh, doing my own thing trying to live life just like you so hopefully this helped you and if it did then congratulations if you want to subscribe that's great if you don't that's great too you can my my channel is not about subscriptions I don't make money off of this uh, so this is free this is freedom this is my uh, freedom <laughs> then hopefully it's your freedom too so hopefully you ended up with a new brain cell and this is care my mind saying have a good night well, from my, for me, you know. Have a good night for me. See ya.